day ahead for us here in the Magic City. That's a live look at Regents Field where the sun's coming up. Thousands of fans will be in those seats. Uh, for the Birmingham Barons opening day, their first game of the season is tonight at Regents Field against the Rocket City Trash Pandas. WVTM 13, Sarah Killian down at Regents Field. Sarah, you, you see Babe Ruff walking around down there. You know, the mascot, he's a kind of a sneaky dude. <laughs> you never know where he's going to show up. Not yet, Rick. He's resting up for the big game tonight, but you know the Barons, they are so excited to be back here at Regents Field this season. There are a lot of special things on tap for fans this season and some changes we want you to know about. First of all, everything is cashless here at Regents Field for the Barons game. That includes the tickets, the parking, concessions and souvenirs. And one fun addition that fans will be able to be able to experience is that you no longer have to wait in those long lines at concession stands. You can now download an app and you can have food delivered right to your seat so you don't even have to miss an inning of baseball. You know, the Barons are also really excited about on the field action. They have a great team, some of the top prospects from the White Sox organizations. And I talked to the Jonathan Nelson. He's the general manager for the Barons, and he says they are just ready to get things started. Based on the feedback that we get from the community and from our partners is that th there's an overwhel overwhelming excitement about the Barron season. And uh, I think that we're very thankful not only to, to be able to open on time, but also with the great weather that we expect over the weekend as well. Uh, the Barons are going to be here against the Rocket City pa Trash Pandas all weekend long. The first pitch tonight, 7.05. Don't forget about the fireworks after the game. Also a game Saturday night and then Sunday afternoon. And Sunday, that's going to be family day here at Regents Field. It's also going to be a special salute to essential workers.